Hey everybody, Mike with Life Elevated Trailers. Uh, right here I've got the 2019 Trails West RPM Chris Barant Edition. Uh, this is the 28 footer. It'll fit six sleds if you really cram them in there, five comfortably. Um, just going to go over the new features and some of the improvements they've made for 2019. Uh, starting with this rear door, it's now a power offering, so you just push a button, the door comes down on its own. It goes up the same way, so you're not sitting there at the end of the park, you know, long riding day, lifting the ramp up. You've got load lights over the rear door that come on automatically. Um, and this trailer also actually has the car hauler package in it. So you've got the drop down jacks here on the back side to, to hold up the back door. Um, brake lights and blinkers, and then also reverse lights. When you put your truck in reverse, lights up behind the trailer to let you know. Take you inside, and we'll look at some of the features inside now. Now that we're inside the trailer, I want to go over some of the features that kind of set Trails West apart from the rest of the manufacturers. Uh, aluminum skin on the walls, and then inch and a half styrene board behind the walls is insulation. The exterior skin is 040 with three mils of paint. Your standard trailer comes with 030 skin and a half mil of paint. So you've got six times the paint on a Trails West trailer than you do on most. Um, that rear door is 82 inches tall at the opening, which gives you enough room for side-by-sides. So while, you know, they are designed as a snow trailer, this specific model is kind of a do-everything trailer. It's beefy enough to haul a car, it's tall enough to haul your side-by-sides, and obviously sled as well, do your sleds as well. Um, this one has a few upgrades in it that I was going to highlight, but first thing I was going to show you is on all Trails West models, they all come with this shutoff right here, which is awesome. It's right inside the man door. You step up in the trailer, click this down. That turns on your stereo, your lights, your furnace, everything. They all have their own switches as well to turn like everything on and off. But if you don't want to turn everything on and off individually, walk around all your switches every time, click that off, everything goes off, click it on, everything comes on. Um, this trailer has some extra windows in it, which we added helps the ambient light and whatnot. Um, and then your 42,000 BTU furnace is ducted through the whole trailer. So this has floor heat that blows up under your sleds, distributes the heat evenly throughout the entire trailer. Two fold down benches to sit on while you're getting dressed. And then actual handles on all your cabinets, which when you open them are on gas shocks. Hang up four helmets in here. Put all your gloves or ball clavas on the bottom, dry everything out. Um, this cabinet is not heated so that you can store stuff that you don't want to get a bunch of heat sent to. Um, on your furnace, one of the best features you'll find in a trailer is this timer. You spin that timer to three hours, get out of the trailer, the furnace will run for three hours, dry all your stuff out and shut off automatically so you don't have to worry about coming back out to shut it off. Moving forward, you've got the spot for all your bibs, jackets, with heat coming out the floor, drying those out. Um, stereo, subwoofer, amplifier, shore power cord right here uh, that plugs in on the outside of the trailer to run your 13,000 BTU air conditioner for when you're in this in the summer and you want to use it year round. If you're going to spend the kind of money that it takes to buy a Trails West trailer, you ought to make it work in every season. So we've got heat, we've got air conditioning, we've got all the height, we've got all the weight capacity to kind of do everything with this trailer. You don't have to have other trailers. When you buy this, it'll handle all your needs. Um, moving forward, you've got 110 outlets here in the front, your carbon oxide, propane detector, battery voltage uh, detector, strap holders, um, and then in the floor here, you've got your spare tire sits right here and a really cool feature is all your batteries as well and those are two six volt batteries so they have huge amp hours slide that back in uh, one thing I've always hated about some of my other trailers is the fuel doors I have to have my key out to be able to get in the fuel doors Nobody is getting inside this door. It's way too small to get anything. You could maybe reach in and steal something out of the bag, but it's really not a security problem. So I always leave mine unlocked. And Trails West puts a handle on them on the outside so that you can open and shut them when you're at the pump without having to have your keys on you. One of those little things, but really handy when in the moment when you just want to open the door, you don't have to go fumble around and try to find the key that you lost. 
Coming around the front here. This is a wraparound door. It's not power. But what I mean by that is it wraps all the way around the front side of the trailer to give you a really clean opening. And then you've got an auto switching dual propane system on the front. So you fill it up once and it'll auto switch to keep your propane heater running the whole time no matter what. Um, yeah, overall, the reason, so I own one of these and I sell them a lot. The thing that you don't realize about one of these trailers compared to just your standard trailer with no heat is when you get done riding for the day, you hang up your boots, you hang up your gloves, you hang up your helmet, you hang up your avalanche backpack, all of your gear, and you step out of the trailer and you go inside. You don't have to lug your huge bag and all your gear in and out of the house every time you go riding because it all dries out and it's all ready to go and you never forget anything because it's all here in the trailer. So come check it out. We're at 600 North Main Street in Springville. Love to see you soon.